Oh, very nice. Thank you for such a warm welcome. Thank you for coming here. We have something quite extraordinary, I think, for you. We hope you will enjoy it. Um, for me personally, um, it's the fulfillment of a dream. I've dreamed for well over 40 years of being at the international launch of a book which will channel the Diagnali into the 21st century. And this is it, folks. This is the launch. So thank you for being a part of it. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce you to my illustrious colleagues, without which none of this would have happened in any sense whatsoever. On my left here, uh, one of the world's foremost archivists, late of the Smithsonian Institute, uh, Paula Fleming. <laughs> and my other co-author, uh, an undoubted world expert in photo history, particularly in the, in the history of stereoscopic photography in France. He is matchless, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Denis Pellerin. <laughs> now, this is a stereoscopic presentation, and it's, I'll tell you right now, it's not as good as the stereoscopic impression that you will get in the book. It's an approximation using red and cyan. Uh, glasses, but I think it will give you a good idea and it gives us a chance to communicate. Mm -hmm. The stereoscopic medium, a la Victorian, uh, doesn't really lend itself to mass media. It's a thing which is shared intimately in a room, but we're going to try and expand it in, into this space here. So this would be a good time to put on your um, red and cyan spectacles. Be very careful. Don't put your thumbs on the colour parts because you'll never get the thumb on the and the red has to go to the left. This is very important. The red on the left, those are the men. They sort of poke behind the ears and you can forget about them. This is new Japanese technology. <laughs> so now, just to check, when you look at the screen, the word diablerie should be out in front of the box. Is that right? If it isn't, then you need to turn it off. <laughs> 